I recognize that curly tail. That's a pigtail. Pigs are animals you meet on a farm or out in the wild. They are very intelligent and are thought to be as smart or maybe even smarter than cats and dogs. Pigs are omnivores. This means they'll eat anything. Omni means everything and vor means eating. Put them together to get omnivore. On a small family farm, pigs are usually fed the scraps from the family's kitchen. But on a large scale farm, pigs typically eat a special mix of corn and soybeans with some extra vitamins and minerals added to help them grow big and strong. In the wild, pigs eat mostly plants and sometimes bugs. They eat grass and other leafy greens and also dig for roots. In the autumn, wild pigs like to eat acorns and other nuts. We sometimes use pig as an insult to mean someone is very messy, but pigs are actually quite clean. Okay, it's true, sometimes they like to roll in the mud. But if you give them enough room to live in, pigs know they shouldn't go to the bathroom close to where they eat or rest. That's pretty smart. One remarkable group of wild boars living in Switzerland has been seen washing the dirt off their food in a creek before they eat it. Those are some nice table manners. Pigs are very social. They like to cuddle together and will even sleep snout to snout. Pigs talk to each other constantly and can make over 20 different sounds. Newborn piglets recognize their mother's voice and will run right to them. By the time they are two weeks old, pigs can recognize their names. I told you, they're very smart. One of the most familiar sounds pigs make is the squeal. Pig squeals can get as loud as 115 decibels. I guess they have something pretty important to say. Pigs are also known as hogs or swine. An old fashioned name for a farmer that takes care of pigs is a swine herd. Can you see where that name came from? Swine plus herd, swine herd. That name isn't used very much anymore. Nowadays, we call them pig farmers. Back to pig names. Male pigs are called boars. Female pigs are called sows. And baby pigs are called piglets. A group of baby pigs is known as a litter or a pharaoh. Sows can give birth to a litter of piglets twice a year. They usually have about 12 piglets in each litter. Piglets usually weigh about one kilogram at birth. Mother pigs nurse their young for three to five weeks. Remember, pigs are mammals like us. A funny thing happens. Piglets always line up to nurse in the same order. Their mother's milk must be very nutritious because piglets can double their weight in one week. Whoa. A piglet that has been weaned is called a shoat. Now the little pig can eat regular food. Yum, yum, yum. After a year or two, most pigs are full grown and can get up to 350 kilograms. Domestic pig sex. Farmers have bred domestic pigs to grow very large, larger than the biggest wild pig. The largest wild pig is called the giant forest hog and it gets up to 275 kilos. It lives in Africa. The smallest wild pig is called the pygmy hog, and it weighs under 12 kilos. It lives in India. Pigs live all over the world. Everywhere that people explored, they brought pigs with them. This means there are now pig farmers everywhere people live. Ever seen a pig wearing glasses? Pigs have poor eyesight, but to make up for it, they have an excellent sense of smell, about 2,000 times more sensitive than a human's. Some pigs are trained to use their keen sense of smell to search for truffles. Truffles are a special kind of delicious fungus that grows under the ground, like an underground mushroom. However, some people prefer to train dogs for this job because the pigs often eat the truffles. Pigs use their long snout to dig into the ground looking for food. Their snout has a long bone in it and a circle of cartilage at the end. You have cartilage in your nose too. Give your nose a wiggle. Feel that? If you push the end of your nose up, it looks more like a pig's nose. That's not all we have in common with pigs. Like us, pigs dream. And did you know that pigs are the only other animal that gets a sunburn? Pig skin is very similar to human skin. One difference is that pigs don't have many sweat glands, so to cool off, they like to wallow in the mud. That might be why pigs have a reputation for being messy. But actually, they're being very smart. The mud acts like a sunblock. Elephants do this too. Here's something else we have in common that's not so nice. Pigs can catch the flu. Aw, poor little piggies. 
The similarities might end there. We have five toes in our feet, pigs have four toes, each with its own hoof. They actually only stand on the front two toes, however. These kinds of feet are called cloven hooves. Compare that with horses' hooves, which are uncloven. The little split in their hooves allows pigs to have better balance on uneven terrain. Adult pigs can run up to 17 kilometers per hour and are thought to have a pretty good sense of direction. Huh, I wonder where he's going. The official scientific name for pigs is Sus scrofa scrofa. Domestic pigs are sometimes called Sus domesticus to make it clear we're not talking about the wild boars. Wild pigs have big tusks. Pigs use these to dig for food and to fight with each other and fight off predators. Farmers usually remove these tusks from domestic pigs so they can't hurt people or other pigs. Domestic pigs that are well taken care of can live on average 15 to 20 years, depending on the breed. Wild pigs usually only live between four to eight years, but then they have a more dangerous life and have to be on the lookout for various predators, depending on where they live. Humans are the greatest predator of wild pigs, but many other carnivores also target these animals as prey. Predators of wild pigs include bears, mountain lions, alligators, leopards, panthers, tigers, crocodiles, lions, and hyenas. Oh, we're leaving out a lot. Pigs don't have it easy out in the wild. Some wild pigs are endangered, but domesticated pigs are not. In fact, the domestic pig has one of the biggest populations of mammals on Earth around a billion pigs. There are even special miniature pigs people keep as pets. Because pigs have been domesticated for so long, they have been part of human culture for a very long time. Pigs appear in a lot of traditional folklore, including as one of the 12 animals making up the Chinese zodiac. 2019 is the year of the pig, and 12 years later, it will be the year of the pig again. Pigs also mean good luck to some cultures. For instance, in Germany, people commonly give each other a candy pig on New Year's Eve to wish you good luck in the coming year. Pigs are so familiar to us. They are often used in nursery rhymes and stories to teach a moral lesson. Did you ever hear the story of the three little pigs? We'll include a link so you can listen to it now. Have you ever met a pig in person? Do you think a pig would make a good pet? Let us know in the comments section below. We want to know what you think. Now let's watch another video about animals from Socratica Kids. Which animal do you want to hear about next? You get to pick.